All right, guys, the next review I'm going to throw at you today is going to be Virtual Desktop. It is a Steam VR. It is $14.99, 15 bucks. Um, but for what it is, I think it's probably the best solution if you're looking for the solution to use your desktop in virtual reality. This, this is the program that will allow you to do that. All right, so let's take a look at it. And... Uh, We'll see what we got going on here. Alright, so these are all the backgrounds. For some reason I don't see my screen. There we are. It was behind me. <laughs> All right, so if you do not touch type, like me, I don't touch type very well, um, you're definitely going to have a problem. So let's look at some, some of the settings. Here's the screen size. We can make it uh, smaller. We can make it bigger. For general purposes, I'm going to try to keep it in uh, the you know the the field of view on the wider the wider uh, VR headsets you'd be able to do probably a little better um, as you can see you can read the, I can read the text just fine I'm not sure how YouTube's going to chop it up but it seems to be perfectly good as far as reading the text like I can read that's Logitech camera Fuzzbot Streamlabs all the type of stuff I can read it pretty well. So let's look at some backgrounds first. We have the dark nebulas, purple nebulas, kind of give you the, you know, the different looks. They also have, uh, you know, the, the usual the auditoriums, you know, which just look insane, right? Uh, but there is a drawback to using the uh, the home the home cinemas and all that type of stuff and I'll and I'll uh, the big old speakers sitting here and uh, there is some drawbacks to it like if we use like uh, like this type of stuff you could use the multi monitor which was you know there's my second monitor there right there's my first monitor there's my second monitor. You know, so if I wanted to, I could move it, you know, move things around the multiple monitors. But unfortunately, if you set that to auditorium, you're not you're not going to be able to do that. Now there might be a hotkey to switch between them. I just don't know what it is. You know, so you know I can claim some ignorance on that part. There might be a, a you know a key combination that will change it to the second monitor, you know, back and forth. Let's see if it'll go, yeah, see, it'll go over there, but there's nothing there. So there just may be some ignorance going on, you know, with uh, me not knowing how to use it. This is my favorite one, the Photo Studio. Check this out. It uses the double monitor mode, and then we got these little robots kicking over here. <laughs> a little creepy. You know, little creepy, little creepy. But but this is my favorite one for sure. Uh, let's go back to settings here. And we also have like a sunrise and and whatnot. And there's this, whatever this is.
and then it's like a pure white. It ends up being pure white. So you got like star fields, pretty good. All right, so let's go over some settings. Let me set it back to uh, single monitor mode. So, and then uh, let me recenter it. All right. So you have the screen brightness, the screen curve. You can flatten it out if you want. To me, that makes the edges look farther away. You know, so I like it. You know to curve with the, the movement. The screen distance doesn't seem to have not sure exactly what that does. All of these don't really mess with them. Super sampling I could set you know MSA times eight. You know it makes the text just a little easier to read I guess. And then uh, the headlock is where it all, the screen always moves wherever you're looking, you know. And uh, you know you can mirror. There's there's a few little, few little utilities, but if you're looking for a program to use your desktop in VR, so far this is the best one that I've seen. As far as features and and just I guess I'll make up a word here cool ability because it really is pretty cool <laughs> all right guys I think that uh, I gave you a, a pretty much a good rundown of, of uh, just some of the basics at least you can make an informed decision and see it in and see it in use so I will talk to you guys um, later. Bye-bye.